Hey guys, I'd like to welcome you back to the second chapter of this brand new video series. This is a time-lapse polymer clay sculpting demonstration where I make something from start to finish and I show you how I do it along the way. In this video, I'm going to be bulking things out with the foil. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before I get started, I want to reinforce the back right here because it I don't want it to pivot like this. I figured the arc would take that out, and it did a lot, but it still pivots a little bit. So I'm just going to bend me a wire to match that bend. And I'm just going to make a mark right here where it needs to bend over here. And then I'm going to cut it like right here. I don't want it to run all the way down the legs. It's just this uh, for upper support. Now I'll just bend these to where they kind of match the pos positioning of you know, everything. There we go. See how that kind of fits on there like that? Now I'll tie that with wire. Okay, see how this barely moves? I mean, it's really rigid and this side moves quite a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the front. I already pre-bent this to go on here. See how that fits? Probably an easier way to do this is just to fold this around once like this. And then one side could be wound down one leg and the other down the other leg. Grab it with some pliers. Definitely easier than the how I did the back legs. That's usually how it works. Things get easier as you go. Now that front is just as solid. It's really nice. So I'm not going to worry about this is going to hold the weight perfectly. Now I can move on to the foil part. I just wanted to beef that up a little bit. And also let me make a quick note that the way I bent everything is just one of probably a million ways you can do this. So if it seems a little weird or if you have an, another idea of how to bend it, feel free to do that. It's just, this is how I did it. Not doing very many sheets because this is a very small sculpture. To get the most out of your foil, you want to agitate it and like wrinkle it up and then un unwrinkle it. it. It makes it real disorganized and becomes a better bulking agent. So to get the most out of the material, I suggest doing that and just work with small pieces, adding it on as you go. You can use masking tape to hold the foil together and at the end when you're done with all the foil I cover the entire thing with masking tape to keep the little pieces of foil out of the clay in case you ever decide to quit at the last second you can reclaim your clay and it won't have trash in it. But I'm going to be using this tape right here, it's the foil tape. So I'm going to, I don't want it to be this thick though so I'm just going to cut it down into thinner strips. That way it's kind of like the tape I'm using, but it's really, I already tried a piece of it, it's super sticky and it's stronger than the foil I'm working with, so it still serves the point. Considering that I'm cutting into strips now, this is actually a lot more of the material than I was, con what I was thinking. You know, it's going to go further in better English, I guess. I can use this to wrap you know all these pieces of foil together because they won't stay put but 
Okay, now for building this body out. Um, basically, what I'm doing is I wad up a piece of foil, and I'm starting off with the main torso, the, the bulk of the body, and I stuck up, up underneath the wire to kind of just, it's kind of stuck in there, but um, I cover that up with some more foil a little bit, just trying to get some foil on there first before I start taping things. And then at first I thought that was going to be the head area, but it, it turned out it was the neck area. So I had to actually add more foil. So there goes the new foil tape that I wanted to try out. I didn't notice anything like significant about it. Uh, it's a little harder to get off the, the paper than the other tape. And it's obviously harder, harder to tell what you have covered and what not. But it does hold very, very good. It sticks way better than the other stuff. Um, you need just a little piece, whereas the masking tape, I've noticed sometimes you have to go all the way around the object and, so it can grab itself again to make sure it doesn't come apart. So it sticks really well, but it's, you know, I don't know, I like it. I like working with it. I have that whole roll, so I guess it's going to last me a while. But now, now, now I'm trying to make this elephant a little bit heavier because elephants are, they're pretty heavy. And this is not... The, the armature has to be smaller than the actual finished sculpture. And I'm going a little bit smaller than that because I want a decent amount of clay all the way around. And you see me add another piece of foil to that side. Its side was a lot shallower than the other side. So to make it even, I just flattened out a piece of foil and added it to that side. Just tape on these little pieces of foil as you go and until everything's balanced out and all this is a perfect armature the whole design that i came up with i'm going to use it in all my future projects well, at least four legged projects anyways but that's pretty much it for this video guys i really appreciate you for taking the time to watch this um it's getting exciting the next clay, the next video i'll be adding some clay to this so looking forward to see you there too in the meantime let me know what you think about this video in the comments below uh, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot. Till next time, I'll see you here again soon.